Hello, this is a short video uh, showing assembly of three parts. This part here, uh, this will be the base, and those two <coughs> will, will go inside uh, this hose. So, the assembly will show us some basics about to uh, assembly in Autodesk Inventor. <clears throat> Going to the software, the first thing we should do is to open a template in the uh, assembly for Autodesk Inventor. So we we'll go to the new, uh, make sure that we're in metric and then open uh, the template for an assembly which is the standard mm and with an extension ima which means the uh, assembly so on opening the assembly uh, what i would normally do is to make sure that these files are open so if i can show you this one of the files this one is another one and that's another one always want to be in the right orientation and this is the another one and then this is the assembly uh, template so first save this one as a file you can call it assembly i'll just say trial <coughs> and save in the same folder where we have put all our parts so if you move to the right of the ribbon sorry the left there is this icon here on place so you click on place the first one on the top and then uh, make sure that the folder which we are looking for is open and in this case uh, the folder is uh, assembled there on YouTube and then as a good practice you put the base as the first one since it's also in the correct orientation hit once press escape and make sure that this file is grounded so you ground by clicking on the right or clicking on the uh, component itself and make sure you ground it when you ground it you will see a pin on the left of the browser grounding means that this um, component is fixed in that position and the others will come around it okay so you go in now for the next one you go back to place you place one of the pins open and make sure that you zoom in or out and place it somewhere about there press escape go back to place pick the other component and place it there and press escape so we're going to do using two operations here so to be able to assemble anything you need to go to constraint on the top left the software normally will know what you're going to do so you don't need to do anything here because this is a simple um, assembly in other assemblies you may need to direct because this is a, a constraint made this angle and this one is a tangent and this one is an insert and this one is a symmetrical but we don't need to do all that so all you need to do is go and touch here touch but don't click you're going to see a line coming up so when you see that line you click that that is the axis of this one 
and you align it with the axis of the hole where it's going to go. This is a line in the middle, then you click there. So you see now, our piece on in, so you say apply. Now, there is something called degrees of freedom, which we shall talk about later, but if you pull this one out, you see it coming out, which means it is not yet stuck to the um, to the bottom, and the aim is to make it stuck to the bottom. I did touch here, so it changed here, the second selection. I need to go back to the first selection, and then I will click on the underneath of the surface which is going to touch on the bottom turn it around and click on the and that is finished so we'll just say apply and we keep this a uh, window open so this uh, component is going to go in there so we use the same method we look for the axis of that one, click any round thing uh, on this component until you see the middle, like a center line, which is the axis. So you click on that uh, when you see the axis and then go to this one as well and click and you're going to see the axis. Press apply. So it has just dropped in. It's not stuck. Um, there might be a problem now, something I kicked by mistake. So I'll just cancel this one, drag it out, press constraint again, and then zoom in. I click on the surface here, surface, not edge, which is going to touch the bottom. So I click on that surface, turn around, it, click on that top surface, apply, <clears throat> and the job is done. Click on that small house, and if you touch anywhere on this drawing, those two parts cannot come out, and that means the assembly is complete. So this is the first introduction, simple design using two constraints. We will be coming up with something more uh, difficult. So that's the end. Thank you.